Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to change the material of an object um, through scripting. Uh, so you may need this um, in your game if you want a character to have different material when it clicks on an object, um, or really anything. And it's, a, it's pretty simple to do, but it took me a while to figure out um, exactly how to do it. So I thought I'd make a tutorial just to make this easy if you're trying to figure out uh, how to do this. So uh, let's get into it. So here we are in Unity. Um, and what we have is we have a little cube here a red one and a green one and a plane. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to give this uh, a rigid body so it falls, collides with the cube, when it collides it'll change color, um, and then when it collides with the ground it'll change to a different color as well. Um, so first let's just get it falling, let's add a rigid body um, and make sure we have a box collider on uh, and so we do, so that'll be fine. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and give it a play. Nothing should happen, it'll just nick off It'll just hit the uh, nick off. That's good. <laughs> It'll just hit the green box and fall. So let's go play again. Get this bam. Okay, perfect. Um, so I've added a script here. It has nothing on it. it just says change material. It's just a blank script. Um, so let's start uh, editing this real quick. So what we're gonna need in order to access our material is we're going to need to make a public material. Um, and we're going to make it an array so we can have multiples and we're just going to call it material lowercase. So we have this variable here called material. This is an array. It allows us to access multiple materials so we could have um, any number of materials that we want to change our object to. Next we're going to make uh, a renderer. Um, this is just going to access your game object. You can make it public. Um, we're just going to leave it private. You can type private or you can just put it in. We're going to put renderer. Um, and we're just going to call it rend. Okay, so on our start right here, um, as soon as our game object enters, uh, we need to get a couple things. First, we're going to make a rend um, equal um, the renderer of our object. So how we do that is we do get component, um, and we're accessing the renderer in here, right here. Okay, so we're making our renderer equal um, the game object's render itself. Um, you don't have to necessarily do this, but just to make sure it's enabled, you can do rend.enabled equals true, so that it will be enabled. Um, that's just in case it's not. So next, uh, we're going to set the material of the renderer. We do rend.shared material equals material, um, and then in brackets, put the number you want. So we have, there we go, zero. So this is just going to ask access the first material um, in materials up here. Uh, this is our variable, and it's just accessing the first one in the array. So we're going to get rid of update because we're not going to need it. And we're going to add an on collision enter. So do void on collision enter. Um, in brackets, we need to make a variable, a uh, collision variable. I'm just going to call it coal. Uh, so make brackets there, and here we go. So when um, our object collides, uh, we want something to happen. Um, now what we need to do in order for it to uh, know that it collides with the cube, we need to set up something real quick. So let's go back into our game here. Um, let's take this green cube right here. We're going to actually give it a tag. Um, we're going to do add tag, um, make one, and we're just going to call it box. Um, and then go back to your green cube, add this tag called box. Um, and we're going to access it back in our script here. So let's go back to edit this thing. So if coal.gameobject.tag equals box, um, then we're going to change the material right here, the first material. Um, so what coal is right here is actually the object it's uh, hitting. So whatever object it hits will be named coal. Um, and we're just making sure that the name of its tag is box. So once it does that, it will change its material. Um, and if it doesn't, we'll just do else. Uh, we're going to change the material to the third material in our list, which should be number two. So that's how you change the material. And then let's take a look at it. All right, so once we've saved it, um, we need to set the size of our array. It's only three, 
um, and let's go ahead and pick our materials. So at the beginning, it'll be red. When it hits, it'll be green. Um, and when it falls to the floor, it'll be blue. So let's click play and take a look at it. There we go. And that's how you change materials in Unity through a script. All right, well, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, please leave a like or a comment if you need anything else to know. Um, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Bye.